this demonstration we're going to look at importing drivers into Configuration Manager to use with our operating system deployments. The purpose of a driver is to give me a hardware interface between the operating system and the underlying hardware. And for example, if we have something like a Pixie boot image, what we may need to do is ensure that we have the correct drivers installed to allow the network driver to be read in order to install an operating system. So in order to actually install the drivers or upload the drivers, what we have to do is we have to come into our Config Manager console, come to our Software Library workspace, then our Software Library workspace, we'll come to Operating Systems node and we'll come to Drivers. What we're going to do now is we're just going to import some drivers into Configuration Manager. So we right click on Drivers and click Import Driver. That then brings me into wizard. So as part of this wizard, I need to specify where we're going to get the drivers from. And I'm going to get the drivers from a network location. So we'll just put in the UNC path. And I'm getting those drivers from backslash backslash lon hyphen CFG, my software share, drivers, hyper V, x64. Now that we've specified this UNC path, just down below here, specifying the option for duplicating drivers. So we can import the driver and append a new category. Import the driver and keep the existing categories the driver and overwrite the existing categories or just don't import it. We'll just leave the default and we'll select next. What that's now doing is it's now going away just validating the permissions and getting everything together. Now the strange thing you might find at this point here is it doesn't appear to have picked up any drivers. However what we have is we have a couple of tick boxes here. So one of the ones is hide drivers that are not in a storage or network class for boot images. We've also got hide drivers that are not digitally signed. Turn off the tick box. And as we can see at this point here, we can now see the drivers. One of the things we can also do as well, if we're only looking for individual drivers or a group of drivers, we can actually use a filter. So I'm just going to look for display. And as you can see, we can see the display drivers at this point here. Let's just cross that off. We want all of the drivers at this point here. Now that we're happy that we've got everything in place, what we're going to do is we're going to create a category for this. So let's create a category. Uh, let's create this category and let's call this one 64-bit drivers. Now let's select OK there and let's create another one as well and let's call this Hyper-V drivers. Once we've got those in place we'll just select OK. We're happy with the two categories we've now put in place so we'll just select OK at this point here. Happy with everything that we have in place so we'll select Next. Then we have the ability to add the drivers at this point here to packages. We are going to create a new package, so we'll create a new package. We just need to fill out some information, so name and also path. I'm going to call this Hyper-V drivers and specify the path to be backslash backslash lon hyphen CFG e dollar source and then drivers and we'll select OK. Now what we'll do, happy with everything on here now, so we'll just select next. What we're going to do at this point here is we're not going to add the drivers to uh, any of our boot images. We're going to do that in a later demonstration, so we'll select next at this point here. Read through our summary and select next and allow this to process and import these drivers. So at this point here we'll just pause the presentation, return back when the processing is complete. So it's now all done, so we can select close. So now we've actually imported these drivers and we've created our driver package. The next thing we want to do is actually distribute that driver package. So we'll come to our driver package and what we're going to do is we're just going to push this out to a distribution point so we can utilize it to our client devices. So we'll just come to our Hyper-V drivers. We'll just come down to distribute our content. On the general page, we're happy with the name. Content destination will be a distribution point. One hyphen CFG is my distribution point. Then what we'll do is select our next button, read through our summary and select next. And we'll just allow this to be distributed out. Select our close button. And what we've now done is we've now pushed out that driver package. If we just look at the content status, what well, we can see, it's currently in progress, so we'll just pause the presentation momentarily and return back once that blob turns to green. So as we can see now, driver package is now sitting on our distribution point, and that's the end of this demonstration.